being able to see something while I'm driving home from knit night, like the sunset, and being able to translate those colors into yarn and showing people the beauty that I see in the world. I never really thought of myself as an artist until you know, in the last six months or so when I started experimenting more with colors. And um, I really feel like an artist now. I, I just, you can't find all these colors that you want at uh, craft stores, but I can make them. Sometimes I see a, a, a dress that somebody's wearing, or um, maybe it's um, light shining through the trees, and I see all the different colors of green. Or now that we're going into fall, there's all the yellow, the leaves are starting to turn yellow, and basically nature, fashion, anything that I see day to day, if it inspires me, I try and take a quick photo if I can and uh, I save it for later. Sometimes I wake up in the night or I'm doing something and I all of a sudden just think of, that would be a great color combination and I write it in my notebook and eventually I get to it. <laughs> and it gives me so much joy to see um, like my one of my best friends starting to take up yarn dyeing. It makes me emotional. I'm really happy that my love of yarn and color is inspiring others to see. The Etsy show puts me in front of thousands of people and I really want thousands of people, millions of people, to see my yarn. I want them to come and touch it and, and, and smell it and squish it and think about a project that they could make with it and then I want to see their projects because I love seeing my yarn knit into beautiful things. Find crochet, don't forget about the crocheters. <laughs> I'm a crocheter first and a knitter second.